Hello and welcome back to Niche Tea, where we talk about drama happening in communities you may not be a part of. We're at my in-laws for a barbecue today. Happy Labor Day to everyone, but I've been waiting a few days to talk about this and I just want to do it, so I'm doing it here. Real quick, for those who didn't see, I did launch a new series called Iced Tea on my YouTube channel. That series is going to focus on older stuff, but has a lot of depth to it and needs more than 10 minutes to talk about. You can get to my channel through my profile. It's under the same button that says IG. Or if it's easier to just go into YouTube and look, you can search up Aerith Girl with two L's. Last time we talked about a situation, happening in the beekeeping community, specifically kind of a back and forth going on between a content creator on TikTok named Bowser and the company Flow that makes the Flow beehive. Last I heard from Bowser, there hasn't been any meaningful update there. They still haven't reached out to him after leaving comments saying basically that he was wrong. Taking the old, maybe it'll blow over strategy. Let's see if it works out for him. Today I want to talk about something that's really simple and not actually drama, but it's amazing and I don't think enough people are talking about it. And that is the giant water lily way off of 2024. This is so fun. I love it so much. And yes, I did say water lilies. Turns out those things can grow to be huge and very strong. The background of this is real simple. In 2021, the Denver Botanical Gardens posted a video of them comparing between the lily pads that they had grown that season which one could hold the most weight. It was something they did internally with their own lily pads. And the strongest one for reference could hold like 89 pounds, I think it was. So these things are strong. They then turned that into a thing they did every year. And in 2023, they opened it up and said, why don't we shift it around so that other botanical gardens can submit the best one they have. So like, this is our biggest water lily and how much it can hold. And then we have a contest for which one can hold the most weight. That of course did spectacularly because how could it not? That brings us to this year and actually just about a couple of weeks ago, Denver kicked off the 2024 challenge. These videos are being posted to TikTok predominantly, so you can just go ahead and look this up, Water Lily Way Off 2024, and you'll find all the actual submissions from each of the botanical gardens. One quick thing I want to warn about though, if you do try to look this up on Twitter, just be aware that when I did so, I found some probably like body checking potentially pro Anna content because of the words way off. So if that's something that you don't want to be seeing, just FYI. I believe there will be 13 competitors in total according to a news release that I saw, but the latest ranking I saw only had 10 so far, so I we might be missing a few, but watching the videos is so fun. They're all clearly well thought out and well produced. They've got like fanfare and clearly these guys are having so much fun while doing this, which like how could you not? I believe from what I saw from another creator who I will tag below who's tracking this very closely, currently Missouri's Botanical Gardens are in the lead. Um, with 142 pounds is where they were at. So again, a lot. This is one of those ones where the only drama is dramatic tension on who's gonna come out on top. No one's fighting, there's no animosity at all. Everyone just loves this and I don't understand why we aren't talking about it more. One thing I love especially about the way the videos are structured is that they always show you and talk through like what they're doing and why. So they all have some sort of base layer they put on the lily pad to make sure that it's structurally supported before they start putting different types of weight on top of it. They try and distribute the weight in the way they think will work best and then when they're they're not going until the lily pads fall into the water or collapse they don't want that to happen that hurts the lily pad so instead you see them judge when they think it's right at the max and when they decide to stop and they have different things that they'll call out like oh the the leaves are like curling up enough and they're like that's a sign of stress and it's time to stop like it's so interesting to watch them what they do and why they're doing what they're doing and you also get to learn cool things about each of the different gardens that are entering. For example, from the Denver Botanical Gardens team, I learned that they have to grow their water lilies from seedlings every single season because they always die off in the winter because they're not meant to live in that type of environment. So then I'm wondering how long would they live without that? And like, it just kind of sent me down a whole different kind of spiral. If you're somebody who's looking for a new fixation that's really cute, this is a really great one to check out. From what I read, the Denver team is going to be clipping together like a super cut of all the entrants once all the videos are published and they will be officially announcing the winner when they do that and release that video sometime next week. Go watch them all. It's really cute and actually something you can learn stuff from and let's all hold our breath to see who comes in number one next week.